hey guys welcome back in our last video what we have done is we have tried installing a domain controller and this machine is currently running in a domain controller at this moment and in this video what we are going to do is we are going to create a dns entries for the system so that a dns lookup can happen properly for your call manager unity connection i'm in presence uccx etc so in order to do that so as as i said earlier when you install a domain controller dns uh, this dns will also get installed along with it so what you have to do is you have to uh, navigate it to dns if in case if you don't know how to do that what you can do is you can go to this particular icon click on this icon which is a server manager and then once you click on this server manager here is the option to go to the dns and once you click on this it'll give you an option here right click and click on dns manager so right now you are you have opened dns manager here so before you uh, install the dns entries what you need to do is you need to uh, add a new zone under reverse lookup zone and click on next here and it has to be primary zone uh, let it be default uh, i'll give it default always it has to be primary and always check this box to the zone in the active directory uh, here you're saying like uh, to uh, how you want to how you want the zone data to be replicated so we are saying like uh, to all to all dns server running on domain controller in this domain you say collabing.com this is the option what we are going to select then we are going to select ipv4 reverse lookup zone and then in the network id what it says the network id is the portion of the ip address that belongs to this zone enter the network id and it's normal not reverse order so the network ip has to be 192.168.1 this is our network ip address click on next here we are going to select allow both non-secure and secure dynamic updates click on next click on finish so we are done with this now what we have to do is we have to come to this forward lookup zone and then we have to come into uccollabing.com folder now in order to create dns entries what you need to do is you need to know what host name you are going to map with the ip address so in our case as we know uh, the as uh, we know like what ip address we do have now we have to decide on the host name so let's get started so first and the foremost what we are going to do is we are going to create a call manager publisher with a host name so let's put the host name as uh, Okay. Before that, I'll tell you how to create a host name. Right click, new host A or AAA for records. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the host name of the publisher, U-C-C-I-N-C-U-C-M-A. A is going to be the publisher and the IP address is going to be 192.168.1.150. And click on create associated pointer PTR record so that the reverse lookup can happen properly. So let's say like uh, the call manager publisher is going to be 192.168.1.50 and we are creating 192.168.1.50. So this is like UCC INC UCM A is going to be the publisher. Add host. So the record, the host record blah 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 was successfully created click on ok now we are going to add another record now we are going to put b so this is going to be the subscriber ucc in cucm b and we are going to put it as 192.168.1.151 as a subscriber and ensure that this checkbox is checked add host now we are going to put c 192.168.1.152 152 152 should be your subscriber so here 152 is your subscriber click on add host now the next thing is 153 is your cups so let's put for cups u c c i n c u p s 192.168.1.153 add host so let's see the next next is your unity connection ucc in cuc 
154. Let's verify if it is 154. Yep, 154 is your use Cisco Unity connection. Now, next is your uh, 155, which is your UCCX. UCC, high end. UCCX. 155 is your UCCX. Click on add host. Okay, done. Now, if you try to do a um, reverse lookup or DNS lookup for this machine, you'll get to know. Let's try to do an NS lookup for our call manager. UCC, IN, CUCM, A. Okay, we know like 192.168.1.150 is your call manager. Now let's do a reverse entry or let's do NS lookup for a Windows machine. UCC, IN, WIN AD. So 192.168.1.175. So we are properly able to uh, resolve the host name. So this means that we are we have set up the DNS entries for all the system uh, that we are choosing to install. So I'll pause this video for now. And in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the certificate authority in this Windows machine so that uh, we can you know, set, sign up all the certificates for our call manager, Unity connection, presence, UC6, etc. So I'll pause this video for now. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.